Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today's video we're doing some MIG welding. We're going to be running our MIG like TIG MIG welding and then our standard MIG welding. Then we're going to take it, cut and etch it, and see how it turned out. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Hit that bell, that way you get notified every time I upload one of these. Alright, let's do it. I prepped this coupon, it's just a T-joint. I uh, ground this edge flat right here, tacked it down, and before I did that, I uh, removed all this mill scale all over these. So that way it'll really bite in there nice and we can get a real uh, feel for what it's doing. So I'm going to run my MIG like TIG style on one side and then I'm going to use the recommended settings on this one for this thickness and run it on the back side after it's cooled down. So I'm running the HTP Pro Pulse 200 and one of the coolest things about this other than all the things it does you can run 30 pound spools in it so you never have to change your wire. Here's the settings I'm using for that MIG like TIG. It's uh, 18 volts, 196 inches per minute, and I'm using 030 wire, and it's ERS or ER70S6 wire. Gotta have a TIG finger. Alright, there's that one. I'm going to let it cool down completely and then weld that back side. So we're welding 8th inch material, so I just turned it up until it said 120 because that's basically 8th inch. And it's at 20.6 volts and 433 inches per minute. There's that one on the recommended settings. The MIG like TIG one. So now I'm just gonna cut cut it in half, uh, sand it down nice and smooth, and then I got some of that uh, rust dissolver that Jody's always talking about, and we'll give that a try. All right, so this side is the MIG like TIG. This is with the recommended settings. You can see with the recommended settings, it, it cut in nice all the way around. It's a pretty good nugget. But that MIG-like TIG, you can see it's just barely touching the root. It's not even uh, penetrating through. Looks like where I pause up at the top, it's getting in there further than this side. But that's just because you're hanging out so long on it. And then right here, you can see it's not even cutting in on that bottom side. So I might play around with, uh, you know, touching the bottom side a bit longer. But anyways, that's why I'm saying MIG like TIG is just for the looks, the aesthetic appeal of it. And the recommended settings, your normal MIG welding, might not look as good, but it's a lot stronger. All right guys, well that's the quick video I have on uh, cutting and etching the MIG like TIG and then your regular MIG. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure that if you're using a technique, it's for what you're building. If you're building like stuff that doesn't matter, you know, it's not strength, it's not critical, you can use that MIG-like TIG. 
But if you're going to be doing something that's structural, you really want to use the regular recommended MIG settings to get a good sturdy bead in there. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload one of these guys. Check out some of my other videos and um, come follow me on Instagram at 5th Street Fab. Alright guys, have a good one.